Hello everyone. There are two transformers here. This one is a forward transformer. This one is a flyback transformer. Do you know the difference between them? Simple way to distinguish is that the core of forward transformer has no air gap, while the flyback transformer has an air gap. The forward transformer is generally used in the forward switching power supply. Its structure is relatively complex. The output power is high, and it is suitable for low voltage and high current switching power supply. When the switch tube VT1 is turned on, VD2 is also turned on, which will transmit energy to the load and the filter inductor stores energy. When the switch tube VT1 is turned off, the inductor continues to release energy to the load through the freewheeling diode VD3. In order to avoid magnetic flux saturation, the transformer needs the auxiliary winding to reset the magnetic flux, and the duty cycle must be less than 0.5. For these reasons, the size of the forward switching power supply is larger than that of the flyback switching power supply. The flyback transformer is generally used in the flyback switching power supply. The transformer can be used to isolate the input and output circuits, so that it not only plays the role of transforming voltage and transmitting energy, but also plays the role of energy storage inductor. When the switch tube VT1 is turned on, the induced voltage of the primary winding of the high-frequency transformer T is positive at the top and negative at the bottom, and the rectifier diode VD1 is in the cutoff state. When the switch tube VD1 is cut off, the energy stored in the primary winding of the transformer T is output to the load through the secondary winding and VD1. In addition, the secondary can also provide a reset voltage for the magnetic core. So the flyback transformer does not need an additional magnetic flux reset wind. Forward transformers have high output power and high work efficiency, but the cost is higher and normally used in high power power supplies. While the flyback transformer can make for low power, low cost, small size, and relatively simple debugging, so it is commonly used in low power power supplies.